everybody, Dave here. Today we're making a cut that is so overlooked and that's beef cheeks. When cooked right, they have incredible flavor. You've gotta give these a try, let's get started. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little of this silver skin off and some of this fat that won't render. And then we'll put our salt and pepper. It'll be equal parts kosher salt and coarse pepper. Rub on and then we'll be throwing them on the smoker. These beef cheeks, because they're a muscle, you gotta cook them low and slow, and when you cook them low and slow and get them up to about 205 internal temperature, they become incredibly tender. Okay, now these are as trimmed up as we need them to be. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our rub. We're gonna coat these thoroughly here, top and bottom. Get the sides. I always make a mess when I add the rub. And I didn't put any binder on these. They don't need it. I never have a problem with the rub sticking to the beef cheeks. Now we're gonna throw these on for the first three hours. I will not touch them at all. And then after that, I'll spritz it with 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water until we hit our temperature. Okay, it's got the rub on it. It's gonna go on the smoker at 275. We won't even lift it or look at it for three hours. After that, we'll use our 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water, give it a spritz again every hour till we hit 205 internal. So it's been about three hours. We're gonna check on the beef cheeks. They look beautiful, coming along nicely. We're giving them a little spritz with 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water. All right, so now we've had the meat resting in the cooler. We're taking it out here. It looks beautiful. You can see how tender it is. I could literally just tear this apart with my hands, but I wanna show you, we're gonna slice this first. Look at the smoke ring on that. And you can see the beautiful meat, very much like it tastes like a beef short rib, but you do have that gooiness that I love. It's, it's a texture thing that people just need to get used to. But this meat here, oh my goodness, fantastic. There are so many things you can use this for. We're gonna chop this one up for some tacos. We're gonna put some on a little crostini, and there's so many other ways to be useful too. So I'm gonna chop this up, and then we'll just chop it into tiny pieces afterwards. Again, look at that incredible smoke ring on this. The flavor of this is just so rich, and just a wonderful piece of meat that is way overlooked. So now I'm gonna just chop this up, keep chopping this up into tiny pieces, and then we'll put it together with some tacos. Okay, now we've got the Meat chopped up nice for tacos. We've got some slices cut for the crostinis. And you can see that nice crust on this with the beautiful smoke. Again, you just have to take the time to cook this and it turns into nice, beautiful, tender meat. For the crostinis, we're gonna throw the meat on top of a little goat cheese. And you can add on top of that either a little pesto or a little chimichurri is normally what I use. For the tacos, we're not gonna add too much. We got beautiful meat in there. We're just gonna put in some cheese. A little bit of my spicy salsa and just a little green onion sprinkled on top. That looks amazing. I'm gonna be diving in shortly. I've already been devouring a bunch of this meat, but time to dive into the tacos and the crostinis. It's just a couple way you can use beef cheeks. Again, such an underrated cut of meat. It is so good as a taco. Be, just keep it simple, let the meat star and then a crostini with a little goat cheese. Oh man. Such a rich flavor. You guys have to give this a try. This was such a fun cook. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm Dave. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you wanna see cooked next. Be happy to do it. Have a great week, everybody. And remember, spread love through barbecue.